Hey guys, welcome to Proco. In this critique episode, I'll be talking about a common issue I saw in a lot of people's arm bone drawings. It's a very important part of learning to draw anatomy because it's usually the thing you start with when drawing the forms of the body. I'll focus on just one critique here, but in the premium episode, I go over a bunch more common issues and drawings that you guys submitted. So this critique is for Sherry Wang's assignments. Thanks for sending them in, Sherry. Sherry, I'm noticing two things with you. Uh, one very, very important, uh, and that is that you're not looking for the landmarks of the bones that we could see on the surface in order to place the bones. I think you're just trying to draw bone shapes on top of the arm, but not really looking for clues to where to actually put them. Um, and kind of the things that I'm seeing that really give that away are, like, look at these bony areas. Right in here is the elbow, the ulna. That's right on the surface. I mean, there's nothing on top of your elbow. No muscle. Um, there's a very thin tendon, but it, it doesn't add any bulk to it. Um, so the ulna you put in there doesn't even touch the surface. It's not even close. Um, so that's way too thin in there. Same thing in the wrist. I mean, look at how thin you're making those bones. As soon as some kind of force is put onto those bones, they would snap. Um, like I said earlier, the wrist is mostly bone. And so that entire thickness you're seeing in there, you're going to have to put bone in there. Uh, same thing in here. Look at that is bone right in there, but you're you're not showing that with um, with your, the shape of the ulna. And then the epicondyles, I didn't think you really looked for the placement, which it would be like right there. That little V shape that you saw in the shadow, that's the tendinous sheet, the little stringy sheet that you uh, see on the inside there, leading right up to the epicondyle. Um, same thing down here, there's the elbow, but I'm not seeing any form in there for the ulna. So don't forget about landmarks. Landmarks are one of the most important parts of anatomy. They're really, really good clues to where everything is. All the, you know, that's where the muscles attach, and that's, where, that, that's the most consistent thing on the human body. You know, muscles and tendons, um, the shapes will change, and the, the size relationships will change. Sometimes the muscle belly is longer, sometimes the tendon is longer, sometimes they'll attach a little bit off of where they should be, but those bony landmarks, they're the most consistent thing on the human body, and so learning those and using those to place things is really important. So please don't disregard that. I'd really suggest going back to these and um, trying again and maybe just identify the landmarks. Just go through and just kind of put little little dots on where the landmarks are. Um, that alone will be a really good exercise. With that, I'm gonna end it. Thank you guys for submitting your critiques. I always have a great time looking at your assignments. Um, it's great to see that you guys are doing them and you're following along with the course. If you haven't submitted any assignments, uh, it's not too late. You can always submit these to the Facebook group and the community will give you the critiques. Um, and of course, watch, you're watching these videos so you, you can see all the common mistakes and you can make sure that you avoid them as well. So, all right, thank you guys very much. I'll see you next time. What's better than Proco videos? Premium Proco videos. If you wanna see more critiques, go to proco.com slash anatomy. I have several more critiques for all the anatomy lessons, which review common mistakes and how to fix them in your drawings. Turn your anatomy skills up to 11 at proco.com slash anatomy. For those of you who will be participating in the caricature course, we've created a community group where you can talk to your fellow students and get feedback on your caricatures. Join the group at proco.com slash groups. If you like this channel and you want to support it, share it with your friends. And if you want updates and a free model sample pack, go to proco.com slash subscribe.